Thanksgiving, Anthony. Ah, you know, spend a little time with the family, Opie. Sure. Over at Grandma's for the big, uh, you know, Italian uh, Thanksgiving. Very nice. With all the food that you could feed an army with, and uh, I was right up there, right at the uh, next to the head of the table. Uh huh. I made it all the way up. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you. Felt pretty good because uh, my brother wasn't there this year. He uh, he was over at his in-laws. Uh, so I got to move up into the Joe seat. So there I was, like right at the before the head of the table. I looked down at the little card table at the end, remembering years and years ago when I was there. <laughs> and I had to work. I remember the middle of the table. Sure. I remember when I became a, a uh, teenager and worked my way up from the card table to the real table, but way at the... the card table in. Well, how many people had to die in your family to get that space? Oh, quite a few. Oh, <laughs> okay. Yes, quite a few. And then, uh, you know, I worked my way up, and as I was sitting there, next to the head of the table, thinking there's only one more place to go, you start feeling uh, old. Old. <laughs> yeah, of course old you do. is what you start feeling. Do you have any teenagers in your family? Yeah. So are you like the cool uncle where you, you, you know, go get them high and stuff in the coat room? Oh, no, no. Give them a little sip or two here or there? They're like early teens, RJ and Chris. Oh, all right. They're pisser. Cool. Uh, yeah. Oh, they idolize me. It's great. Yeah. Yeah, I'm cursing like a, a banshee at the table and stuff. And they're just like, you are so cool. You were drunk again. Yeah. You were drunk again, obviously. Well, a couple of beers, though. <laughs> you know. Not as drunk as my mom. So, so you're cool. <laughs> <laughs> my my mom was at the point. Uh, she was at the I love you f you stage. Really? Of, uh, yeah, she gets like that every so often on the holidays. Was she snotted? Uh, she was ooh, drinking her wine. Oh yeah, boy, sitting there at the table. All of a sudden, uh, and then you bring up the last time we were all hanging out as a family, and she was hitting the wine, and she's like, "Oh, scratch your ass! I wasn't saying that. I don't do that." Because we tell her when she really gets schnockered, she'll say. Uh, She'll talk to you and you're like, oh, baby, my my son, it's so good to see you again. You're like, Ma, calm down. Oh, F you, F you, F you. No, but I love you, I love you. It's so good to see you again. All right, Ma, look, I'm going to go into the kitchen. I'm going, oh, God, don't leave. F you, F you. And it's not F you, it's the F word. Well, Coke will do that to you. <laughs> oh, Jesus. You're saying my mom's doing coke opening? Well, I'm just assuming at this point. No, she's drinking some wine, having a good time with the family. Could be acid. And then we uh, we, we tell her that, you know, last time we were all together as a family, uh, you got that I love you, F you phase. Mm -hmm. And she's like, oh, no, I wasn't. No. Hour later, I love you, F you phase. <laughs> and then she's bringing up, uh, you know, school. When I was in school. Because remember the time I got you that lovely fur coat? Fur coat? Fur coat. She brought this up. I forgot about it. Elementary school. Did it go with your velour shirt that's on the uh, FM Talk website? Dude, I don't know what kind of... You were like of... a pimp when you were eight years old. A p I wish I was as cool as a pimp yeah. when I was in that grade. But it turned out all I was was an elementary school kid going to elementary school in a fur coat. <laughs> my mother's like, oh, it kept you warm. I go, no, the coat didn't. The blood running from my nose over my body kept me warm because <laughs> I'd be beat up. Because, faggot. Hey, Anthony, you're a faggot. Only faggots and women wear fur coats. <laughs> she, I don't know what kind of dope she was doing. She comes home one day from the store. I'm just thinking, I want a snorkel jacket like all the other kids had in school. But no, my mother says... You know, you ever see on the sidelines of the football games, Joe Namath wears a fur coat. Oh, yeah. Joe Namath wears a fur coat. <laughs> Joe Namath was all, all, also a uh, quarterback for the Jets at the time. You know, pretty cool job, so he could pretty much wear whatever the hell he wanted. Right. He's not People in People are going to still hang grade. out with him. Right. Exactly. You know? Who's that other big, the big black guy that has the daughter in the, in the films, the football player? He used to crochet on the sidelines. Rose, Greer. Rose, Rosie, Rosie Greer. Greer. Sure. He would crochet on the sidelines, right? Right. Anybody going to crack him in the head? Hey, Rosie, you faggot. Of course not. If I was to crochet in fifth grade, what would happen to me? You wear a fur coat, it doesn't matter. Joe Namath wears one on the sideline. Yeah. I was being beat up because mom got me a fur coat. Uh. She was always, she always she was like ahead of the trend and, and like she was going to make us. We were models, fashion models. A fur coat. By Give the, me my snorkel jacket. By the time you were in ninth grade, were you dressing like uh, Clyde Frazier? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
I wanted jeans. I wanted a T-shirt. I wanted sneakers. Like I dress now. So she brought up the fur coat at the Thanksgiving yeah. Day table. Yeah. All right. And it, it br- I totally forgot about it. But, uh, yeah, she had gotten me a fur coat. All, all the little family memories come up in Thanksgiving. Things you wish you could never remember again. But another thing, like sneakers, I always wanted the... Uh, what were they? The PF Flyer high top black sneakers. Those are the ones I want. You look like a hoodlum. If you wear those, you look like a hoodlum. You want to look like one of the. And then she'd use the N word and stuff. Wow, she uh, would? Uh, you know, Italian. Oh. <laughs> so, so, <laughs> so, you know. <laughs> hey, come on. She's older now. She goes to church. <laughs> she goes to church now. Come on. You know, that was a long time ago. But I, I wanted to wear the, the high top uh, black PF Flyer sneakers, and and my mother would always come back uh, with these those stupid white skippies, you know, the stupid sneakers with the rubber front and everything. Your typical Wonder Years sneakers, <laughs> sure, you know. And I was pissed. And pants. I wanted jeans. I wanted to go to school in jeans. She'd get me like dress slacks, just your slacks yeah. and a dress shirt. And a tie for the first day of school. I'm there with a briefcase. <laughs> I swear to God, you would think I was closing deals for IBM the way she dressed me to go off to the fifth grade. I had a briefcase and a, a shirt, matching shirt and tie, which my brother had to wear the exact same thing. Are we twins? No. 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 But she dressed us like we so were. So now everyone thought you were twins. Right. And, and we had to have the same little ties and pants and shoes. One time in her uh, disco diva phase, <laughs> she bought me platform shoes. <laughs> Dude, platform shoes. Disco shoes. I had the big platform shoes. <laughs> I swear I had eight inch platforms. I looked like that jerk off in Saturday Night Fever. <laughs> Tony, you gonna call me Tony? Tony, give me a call. <laughs> She's pregnant, father. You think the Pope could get her an abortion, father? <laughs> Tony, you didn't even call me. Look, Tony, I'm dancing, Tony. I'm dancing on the bridge, Tony. <laughs> I had those big dopey uh, shoes. That's classic. I, I And then one time, um, my, my sister's dogs, she had two little dogs, ate the shoes. Yeah, baby, that was me. She, my sister's dog ate the the heels of the shoes, the big platform shoes. I was like, thank you, that extra can of kennel ration for you. Back to my skippies. That's why I dress like this, because for years I couldn't. I wanted jeans, sneakers, and a t-shirt my whole friggin' life. So now, I wear what I want. And then I go I go to Thanksgiving dressed the same way. And my mom's like, it looks like a slob. So I go, sorry, I don't have my platform disco shoes and fur coat, Mom. She could have got the fur coat out of the closet for you. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> Looked like I'm coming out of the closet with that friggin' thing on. And, but her big excuse was, Joe Namath wore a fur coat on the sidelines, walking back and forth. Remember when he was injured? A yeah. lot of times. And he had that, that he wacky would, coat. Yeah, he was still, like, uh, on the field and stuff. He walked back and forth the sidelines. He had this big fur coat. But he could pull off that look, man. He had the blondes uh, by his side. And... Yeah, two people pulled off that look. And there were stories in the paper how he's banging broads in between quarters and stuff. Joe Namath and Fred Mertz. <laughs> Remember that when he put the big coat on? <laughs> We're gonna 23 skidoo! <laughs> hey, Ethel, let's jitterbug! <laughs> I'm gonna get some broads with this coat. <laughs> Come on, Rick. <laughs> yeah, you know, big furry bear coat. That's what I looked like. So was your uh, childhood idol Joe Namath? Aunt? Yeah, you know. Were you wearing pantyhose like him too? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he did do the commercial for the pantyhose. No, thank God my mother didn't feel uh, I should be wearing pantyhose. <laughs> All right, uh, <laughs> let's go to Caesar. Caesar, what's going on today? Anthony, you are a homo, man. Ah, oh, come on. Listen, did Mama also buy the little fox skin scarf to match the coat? No, there was no fox skin yes, scarf. Yes, a little mink skin. I bet you. Hey, I bet you. I'm admitting it was a gay coat. I had a, <laughs> she put me on a fag gay coat in elementary school where, gee, people aren't judging you too much by what you look like. Hey, buddy, I bet she tied the mittens to the sleeve of the coat too. Nah, it wasn't that drastic. <laughs> You're a faggot, man. <laughs> I had the big dopey like galoshes and stuff. I wanted like fireman boots, you know. Things with the big metal clips. Sure. Yeah. I get the totes. Totes galoshes. Put on your rubbers. You were obviously poor like myself growing up. No, she did pretty good, you know? Well, I, I mean, know. I mean, yeah, it, it was all... 
No, she was more like she would spend more to make me look like an ass. Now I know why Boomer beat you up in elementary school. Yeah, exactly. You had your cute little fur coat on. My fur coat. I wanted a bomber jacket, you know? I wanted regular, the high top Pia Flyer sneakers, jeans, just looking like a kid. Uh -huh. But no, my mother figures I, she, she's dressing me up like I'm, I'm in GQ or something. GQ? Well, that's what they would. They would put stupid things like fur coats on the models and stuff. Uh, and she would see it and go, oh, that's a great look. She, she used to dress me up like that. She was goofing on me because she said uh, over Thanksgiving, uh, she said, well, when you dress yourself, you look ridiculous. What do you mean? She get, And she pulls out pictures of me with striped pants and a plaid shirt. I'm walking around like that. I'm like, so? That's the that doesn't go. I'm like, I don't care if it went or not. That's the 70s look, though. That's stuff, groovy. That stuff went in the 70s. Just like Greg Brady. Haven't you seen the Brady Bunch? They say it's in. I remember going for uh, back-to-school shopping and stuff. You know, you go to the department store and, and walk around, and you'd see stuff you want. You're like, oh, that's good. That's good. Oh, no, that's crap. That's what the lowlifes are wearing. You know, Charles Nelson Riley is wearing a scarf off to the right. Oh, you should wear that. Yeah, I can't, I can't see that. Oh, if there's a picture with you with a, a, a Charles Nelson oh. Riley scarf, I need to see that. Where's my scarf? Oh, <laughs> the ghost and Mrs. Muir. <laughs> Charles Nelson Riley. Oh. <laughs> I'll tell you one thing: if she would have bought me that coat when I was like 13, 14, I'd have banged it. <laughs> yeah, well, hey, what's with the fur on this coat, Anthony? Why? <laughs> it's like uh, Liberty Spikes that the punk rock is wearing. <laughs> more girls, more gooder. Hookers for everyone. You're a goddess. Ugh.